Nigerians always do better because they support each other. This is coming from Obrafwa. Obrafwa. Okay, I hope that's how to pronounce his name, but he made this known um, during an interview and he was talking about the music industry in Ghana and um, he feels that they should stop the um, bickering and quarreling and try to support each other and he thinks Nigeria supports each other. So, yeah, I think we do. We, think have we... Our, we have our bad sides, yeah. yeah, but I think we genuinely support each other. I mean... We are the ones that would even call out the next person when we know because we feel like oh, all of us are there. We'll sell it, settle it at the back. Right. So I think we really do support each other. But when I when I saw this, I'm like in some interviews here yeah, that I've seen Nigerian um, artists go on. They will say, um, Nigerians need to do better and support their own brand. Mm. And, uh, I feel like it's just when you're home. You know, there's this thing that they say that they don't appreciate you when you're mm -hmm. home. That kind of thing, mm. like. Yeah, he mentioned that too for Ghana too that they don't they like foreign things. I think we say that also about Nigeria. We say that too, but I think it's just the difference. No, no, no. The difference is Nigerians have embraced our song, our music. Like you go to the club now, maybe if you get the foreign vibe, that will probably happen for like I think they started from like one o'clock or so for thirty minutes or twenty minutes, and they are back to Nigerian See, songs. Um, so me for, me, for our music, I think we have embraced that I think that Nigerians sound. start embracing um, our music hearts after our artists have done enough to put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. Because back then, people want to, people don't really care about um, Nigerian well, How many music. artists did we have back then, though, that would, sus mm -hmm. that would sustain a that, whole diet of That's life? why I said the, this current they artist, worked that top, they worked for it. Mm -hmm. It was after we already saw that, oh, even people outside there appreciating our music more more than we do. Mm -hmm. I think that it was at that point Nigerian started like okay, appreciating um, the Nigerian artists that we have here. Mm -hmm. And I think, to be honest, you can't take away the fact that our artists are very hardworking. I yeah. mean, name them. They are very hardworking. And when it comes to publicity and promoting their song, they, they, try. they really try mm -hmm. a lot. So, I if think I, they do way they, more promotions than Nollywood. You know, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. I mean, we support our own. We can't take that away also. But they're but also hard work. I'm sure Ghanaians to support their um, mu um, musicians anyways. It's just, I feel he's just saying it because he's Ghanaian and he's home and he's trying to just encourage his people to like, okay, let's just push ourselves out there too. And and I, I'm, I, Ghana music is really doing um, well too. Mm -hmm. They are out there. People listen to it. I mean, they are like... baby. If <laughs> <laughs> Um, I think um, I get where Obrafo is coming from because um, Obrafo is one of the um, pioneers, or should I say the music veterans in Ghana. And um, in Nigeria, even if you have a bad blood with an artist, but you know this artist is going to sell your tickets, you get an agency to go get that artist and strike a deal with that person. I've seen a lot of artists come in for events and then you tell them to stand in front of a particular brand and they'll tell you, I will never ever stand in front of this brand to take a picture. I'm not supporting them. But they have the event because they're getting paid for it. So what Obafo is saying is that once a Ghanaian has a problem with your star, okay, let's use Shatawali for instance. Shatawali was out of the um, Vodafone Music Awards for years because he had bad blood with them. Um, um, is it Chattered, um, Chatter House, yes, in Ghana. And they were not putting him there, but a Shatawale on your concert will sell more tickets than any other random artist that you want to put there. But once they have bad blood, they don't support. So I think that's where Obrafo is coming from, saying that Nigerians, regardless, see, if you don't like David Do, you will still call him because you know he will sell your concert. Mm. So we support our own a whole lot more. And I'm saying this out of experience from living in Ghana and seeing how a lot of people say, oh, no, because they don't like this person and I want to bring him on my radio show. Somebody will say, or oh, my boss will tell me, no, 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 not that guy. He doesn't represent this. He doesn't do this. And that, 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 that. Yeah, they really do not support theirs, and especially their veterans. Um, once they feel your time is gone, your time is gone, nobody appreciate. But out here, you still find us supporting people that they did music way back, and they're still relevant to dates because a lot of younger generations still put them on their views for so for. I'm going to use people like Kwam One. I'm going to look people like um, what's his name, Shino Peters, Shino Peters, and the likes. They still put them on views of 
proper concerts that you're not expecting a Shino Peter. But we have, we have people that still want to dance to the Afro Juju. We have people that still want to dance to a Kwam One at certain concerts. So we still respect our veterans and we still put them on the bill. But that doesn't happen a lot in Ghana. They feel like when there's a particular space, that's what they have to deal around. And that's not how it's supposed to work. So I get what Obafo is saying. And especially when you're being appreciated outside your own country, then out here we recognize our own. We appreciate our own people way more than they do in Ghana. They don't even get a lot of awards for doing a lot of things. We have a lot of very, 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 very talented artists in Ghana that are not being recognized, are doing diff things differently. But because there's a cabal in the... We also have that going on here, but we have a whole lot more support in Nigeria, to be honest, than in Ghana. Yeah, I understand what you're mm. saying. And picking up from there, too, I think the numbers will play, too, because if you... Check the population of Nigeria and the population of Ghana. I mean, Lagos alone <laughs> is more than what Ghana, about right? investments? What no, about people on. opening record labels? How many record labels do we have in Ghana? Okay, so it's where I'm coming from is not about their record labels, or it's, it's off the back support. of what you're saying about them. I mean, a bright chimese is still selling out. A Shino Peter still has geese, is playing every year. Mm. We are so big that the sky is big <laughs> enough for everybody. If you feel like Lagos is not doing it for you, you can even be in Portacot and own that place right. and pay, play every weekend, every time you have a show. Mm. So I think when their cabal can be so strong there is because how many are they before you know? But here you have different sets of people owning this area they tell you okay this is our own we are holding our auto mm -hmm. we are holding out this we are holding down and there is market for everybody a johnny drew will sell out his show and have five thousand people over there mm. he doesn't need to bring a davido to sell it right. there is market right for so everybody. i know that we support but then i think our numbers also comes to play because we have the numbers we have the population we have in fact, the, 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 the adage that the sky is big enough for everybody literally plays out. In, even in Lagos alone, it can play out. Talk more of the whole Nigeria, right? So I think it's, um, everybody's case is peculiar to where you are in. And yes, they need to support each other more, like he has said, from experience. Mm -hmm. But there are so many things that come to play at the end of the day. Honestly, because I mean, if it was, if we're going through um, by the um, award thing we talked about, mm -hmm. and if it was a voting category, imagine that all Nigerians have to vote for files mm -hmm. and let's say all Ghanians. Ghanians have to vote for Sakode. I mean, the numbers, like you said, will come into play. Mm -hmm. And it's not like they didn't support him, mm -hmm. but it's just that, well, it is numbers, what it is. Yeah.